Many of you guys are probably familiar with this. This is a Nintendo Zapper. But can your Nintendo Zapper turn on a fan? Or what about a light? Or what about your dang drill press? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Vec Tip Mechanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how I turned this Nintendo Zapper into a wireless remote. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos. I picked this old Nintendo Zapper up for $5 on Facebook Marketplace. The original owner wasn't sure if it worked, and I don't have a Nintendo or a cathode ray TV to test it out on. But I was thinking of a cool project to do with my nephew and thought, hey, why not turn this thing into a wireless remote? This will give this zapper a new purpose in life while also introducing the cool things you could do with electronics to my nephew. So we're going to be taking this thing apart right here and uh, installing a RF transmitter inside of it. Um, this was, I picked this up on uh, eBay for I think five or six bucks. It was inside this remote here, but for another project, I took it out of the remote and soldered on these two um, wires to the button and, and sent, or to the switch, I should say. And then uh, I've been uh, actuating the switch that way for another project. But we're going to be installing this um, transmitter into. Um, the gun and the receiver into our uh, um, outlet module we'll be making. So let's take this apart and get this installed. Basically, I just soldered on wires from the transmitter to the existing switch of the zapper after removing all the pre-existing wiring. If you look carefully, you can see the blue light turn on when I actuate the switch. For the receiver part, I'm going to be interfacing it with an Arduino using an optocoupler. This is a PC817. And I've got the anode side hooked to a uh, one kilo ohm resistor here. I know this isn't uh, Silicon Valley chip manufacturing, but uh, I think uh, it's going to do the trick. So I've got the outlet pretty much all wired up. Um, you get the 120 volts or 110 volts coming from the, the wall socket to this 5 volt um, DC adapter. It's just an old phone charger that uh, is going to power the RF receiver as well as the Arduino. Um, then you also have a relay module that controls the outlet where we'll be hooking up our devices to. So we'll just be putting this all inside this box here and uh, that should complete the build for the outlet and the receiver end of it. With uh, everything elegantly shoved into the electrical box, it's time to test it out. The code for the Arduino is really simple. I just have a pin set to a pull-up resistor function so that when the, the button is pre pressed on the zapper, the PC817 shorts out the pin to ground, causing the relay to turn on. There's also a variable that keeps track of the K 
count that the button is pressed so that way it can alternate between turning on and turning off. Actually, if you have a um, RF module that is locking, meaning it or latching, that it turns on and only turns off when the button's pressed again, you don't even need an R Arduino. You can simply do this using um, a transistor hooked up to the relay module. But this is all I had, so I made work with it. Right, so the receiver outlet is all done. I used these panels to cover up all the wiring. And on the side of the box, I drilled a hole for the antenna to stick out of. As far as the wire here goes, it's 14-2 Romex wire with uh, this plug on it. All right, let's go test this thing out. It, the distance that the zapper and the outlet can work at, I've hooked up the, my shed light to the outlet and uh, I will try to be um, turn the light on from different distances. So just to demonstrate that this is working. Turns on, off, back on, and off. So let's go to different distances and see if the light will still turn on. So I will start off with a distance about 25 feet. So here I am about 25 feet from the entrance of the shed. We'll see if that turned it on. And it did. So I'll go ahead and turn it off. And we'll go 50 feet. I actually tested this inside of my house and I was able to go from one end of the house to the other through the walls actually, so I'm hoping this will work. So we're about at 50 feet from the light. Let's go see how that turns out. And to no surprise, it is on. Alright, so we're running out of real estate here. But uh, we'll go behind this wall and see if it can shoot through the wall. So I'm probably at a distance about 75 feet from the shed. I'm going to aim this through this wall and see if I can turn on a light. I don't think this will work, but it's worth a shot. And it's on. <laughs> this thing's got amazing range. So I guess we'll still continue the test. We're gonna have to go outside now. Turn it off. And we'll walk outside. Thank you. Even got my nephew here. He's got the measuring stick and everything. Let's go. All right, let's see if that turned on the light. Let's go. All right, we're getting close to the moment of truth. And look at that. The light turns on all the way from the front yard. Make sure you smash the like button.